Welcome back, everybody. It's your girl, Tabitha, and I've got breaking news. When I said that this queen is not playing with that ass, I meant that. And the co-defendants in Donald Trump's RICO case are finally starting to realize it, too. Jenna Ellis has effed around and found out, and she has flipped. Mm -hmm. That's right. Early this morning, Jenna Ellis pleaded guilty in order to strike a deal in Georgia's RICO case against Donald Trump and 17 other co-defendants. We've got that footage. Okay, yes, we do. We got it. Okay, we do have in courtroom footage of Jenna Ellis speaking to the court. Thank you, Your Honor, for the opportunity. Today, I just want to thank the court for As an attorney who is also a Christian, I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously, and I endeavor to be a person of sound moral and ethical character in all of my dealings. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information, especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. I look back on this whole experience with deep remorse. For those failures of mine, Your Honor, I have taken responsibility already before the Colorado Bar who censured me, and I now take responsibility before this court and apologize to the people of Georgia. Thank you. Yes, yes, control room. Jenna Ellis did just in fact throw Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani under the bus. Details about Jenna Ellis's plea deal are still unfolding. However, it is being reported that Jenna Ellis did plead guilty to one count of aiding and abetting false statements and writings, the charge related to false claims of voter fraud that were made to members of the Georgia Senate at a hearing in early December 2020. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. As more co-defendants flip, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Back to you in the control room.